the morning. Uh, had to uh, hold up filming a bit because there's a train going right behind me, but that's okay. Uh, last time you saw me out wearing this shirt, I was in a zombie graveyard, and I thought, you know, for what I want to say next, I don't really want to be in a zombie graveyard, so I'm out here on the banks of the Susquehanna River. Early morning, it's foggy. And I want to give you a little something. I want to give you my birthday greetings. So this is for you, Tanya. Uh, we've known each other for four years now. Uh, we met in a writing group, as you've told other people. And we didn't say much at first. Uh, of course, that wasn't the way things worked. Uh, we, there wasn't a lot of interaction. We did talk about other writers once in a while, but it wasn't until after it was all done and you uh, came along and sort of pulled me into uh, the world of role playing that we actually got to know one another. And little did I know from that initial uh, introduction where things were going to lead. Because we went from that role play to having a bad experience with it, to setting up our own. And it was you saying, hey, let's set up our own world. And I was a little leery about doing it because well, when you came along at that point in my life, I was at a, I was at a bad place. And you, wouldn't let me say no, <laughs> which is something that's happened a lot with us. Uh, you pushed and pulled and poked and conjoled to get me to do things. And like I told you one time, you never saw the nights I was sitting behind my computer going, oh, what does she want now? And you're telling me I can't visualize what you're trying to tell me. I need to see a map. I need to see. Uh, uh, I need to see a floor plan. I need to see a drawing. And the whole time I'm like, oh, God, doesn't this woman have anything better for me to do? <laughs> and the reality was, though, every time I did it. And in doing that, I actually created, with your help, we created, the world I'm writing about now. As you pointed out, how far would I really be along in that work if we hadn't laid all of that groundwork all those years ago? But it's not just building the world that I'm now writing about or working on the characters that have become a very significant part of my life. You didn't just work at making me more creative. You didn't just work at making me a better writer. Because my first story was written with your input and your editing. And one of the things I'll never forget is something you told me. Put your ego aside. Do you want it to be good or do you want it to be the best? And every once in a while I have to remind myself of that. But above all, you made me a better person. You were there long before Cassidy ever came out. She was hiding in the background. And I remember you said you kind of suspected something. And when I told you about her, you didn't run, you didn't hide, you didn't have any mean things to say about me. You held out your hand and you said, hey, let's see where this goes. 
and you've always been there to support me. Throughout all this stuff I've been through. And one of those moments in my life that I will never forget was in 2012 when I was working in Indianapolis. And I was lonely, I was away from home, I was depressed, I was doing something I hated, I was having trouble with my writing. And you started talking about Carrie and Annie. Or Annie and Carrie, as I usually say. And you said, you're the only one who can tell their story. You have to tell it. You have to tell this to people. And I know you can do it. That's what I've been doing for the last year. Almost a year now. You've been telling their story. And it's went beyond just what we came up with all those years ago. It's actually become their lives. I've created their lives for them. It's something hugely tremendous now. And it's as much your story as it is mine. I'm just the writer. But you had so much creative influence there, it's not even funny. So my wish to you is Keep on shining, you lovely diamond. And don't ever stop, because you are one of those unique women who make the world a better place simply by existing. You touch so many people in ways I never imagined. You're remembered by so many individuals. You've changed lives. You've changed mine. As you can see. Because in a lot of ways, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. And I don't mean just Cassidy. I mean me. That's something I'm never going to forget. And when you are gone from this world, you're going to leave a lot of sad people behind. But they're going to remember you, and they will have talked about you, and they will have told stories. And that's going to pass down It's going to be remembered for a long time. And when that happens to a person, they never really go. They're always here. In a way, it's a form of immortality. And I guarantee you, that will be yours. So happy birthday, Tanya. I hope today is a good one for you. I hope it's one of the best. I hope you get to share it with friends who care about you. And in many ways, who love you. I hope so. Because we all deserve we all deserve to have every day be a special day and this is my special day for you bye bye happy birthday 
don't stop being the person you are.